Record. Wonderful. Okay. My name is Mandy Thompson. I'm here today to coach Miss um, Jen Wallace. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. So I hear you have a couple of concerns that you would like to talk about today. I do. So um, for starters, I have some questions about vocabulary instruction. Mm -hmm. um, we typically do it during our whole group time. And I feel as though my kids are not um, using it the way that they should, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. Yeah. Um, we take an assessment every other week on it. And it seems like to me that they are not they're not studying it at home, uh -huh. but they're also, it's like, we're not going over it enough in class. Um, and so they're just not getting the hang of it. Okay. So are you doing like a vocabulary word of the day or is this like standards based vocabulary or how, how does this, how does this play into your plans? So these are tier two words. And so we use, um, <clears throat> it's a program that we purchased off of Teachers Pay Teachers. And we use this, um, we're supposed to use it every day, basically. Like one day we do, so we do five words a week. And then we do like um, the first day we write a definition. The second day we go over synonyms. The next day is antonyms. And then on Thursday, we draw a picture. On Friday, we have like um, just like games with it. And then- the next week we do the same thing with a new set of words and then we take an assessment on it for um, a classwork grade. Okay. So um, how many words are typically on the assessment? Only 10. Only 10. So do you, sorry, I'm just trying to understand. So do you do five per week? And so you test every other week? Mm -hmm, that's right. Okay. Is there a way that you could test every week and make it shorter to where it's only, you know, five per, I know that's more grading for you, but, um, it might, you know, help them since I feel like at least for me, a lot of times over the weekend, I feel like sometimes we might forget. Does it seem to be that it was those five words that you learned the week before that sometimes they struggle with, or even, is it still just the words that you do that week? I think it's just like all the words in general. It's not necessarily the words from the week before, um, at the beginning of the year, it was kind of crazy for them to adjust because we are departmentalized. So mm -hmm. it was crazy for them to adjust to that and just, you know, trying to get the routine of third grade. Um, and so I would let them use their notebooks and their notes to go back into it and, you know, just find, you know, be able to use that resource. Um, and then we've gotten more in the second nine weeks now. And so I feel like they should be able to use these words and especially like they're able to pick them out as we're reading and things like that. Why are they not able to, you know, accurately assess on them, you know? Right. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, I would say, you know, there may be a possibility that maybe you can give notes or almost like a cheat sheet because it is important that, you know, these third graders are able to use a reading passage or whatever it may be um, to help, you know, with figuring out words they don't know, especially if these are really technical tier two words like you're saying. Um, so maybe a possibility could be you, I know this is a little bit more work as well, but maybe you create a passage with some context clues and stuff and give this to them with the assessment and say, you know, this is here to help you. And it's a passage that has all of the words in it. And that might help them, you know, kind of remember or spark kind of like a, you know, like, oh yeah, that is what that meant. Like I can, you know, maybe give some like background knowledge to it just so that way there's not nothing there, but almost like a scaffold from having the notes to now having like a passage to then hopefully maybe when we get to that third quarter, no passage, no notes, maybe that would be a good gradual release for them. Do you like that idea? Um, I think maybe we could work something out with that. Okay. And like I said, I know that's, you know, a lot of extra work on you, but even if it's just like a couple of, even if it's not all of the words, but like five or six of them um, that, you know, that they definitely struggle with and like trying to create some kind of passage with it that might help. Um, did you have any other ideas yourself that you think might help with that as well? Um, <clears throat> well, you know, I was really thinking about what you said about like assessing them each week. Mm -hmm. So 
I was thinking maybe I could transfer what we have for the vocabulary assessment, maybe to like a Google form to where the kids can um, assess just on that part on those words. And then Mm -hmm. the next week they would assess on those words and then just take a grade together maybe. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I like the part that you also mentioned of doing it online, because that's definitely Mm -hmm. going to take um, some grading off of you as well, because, you know, do you already do it online? Is that how you typically do it? No, no, so not here at this school. It is my previous school. We did it online, and but we used a different platform. Um, And that was like really helpful because one, it did the grading for us, but two, um, you know, it just, it, it took them a little bit off of us, mm-hmm. if that makes sense as a teacher, because I don't have to copy, make copies. I didn't have to, you know, sit there and watch them um, kind of thing. So it was just something that, you know, when you said that it kind of sparked in my head. Okay. Well, that's good. So maybe a goal <laughs> for this could be, you know, assessing weekly and doing it online. Mm-hmm. Do we yeah. like that goal? Okay. Yeah. I'll make like a note that. of that. Okay. Okay. And then did you have another concern? Sorry. (laughs) No, it's okay. Go ahead. Um, Yeah. So, you know, so I've noticed with my class, um, they really have, um, I'm sorry, I'm looking back at my notes to see like how to word this for you. Um, Just giving them like more independence when they're writing. Um, A lot of my students, they want to copy my models. um, And I've had it, you know, in they should, you know, for a little while, but mm-hmm. I think they're at the place where they start n- to need to like be released. Mm-hmm. Um, and so how can I make them feel more confident that they can do this on their own because they've been give they've been given so much guided instruction, um, and have them become more independent writers. Okay. Um, Right now, do you do any type of checklist or anything like that that would help guide them in their steps of the writing? So not necessarily a checklist, but I have like a formula that they use. Okay. Um, so I think a checklist, that would be something easy to incorporate into that. Because mm-hmm. um, I would just have to put like each step and then they could check it off. Yes. I know at least for me, when I have a to-do list, it helps me stay more organized and it's kind of like that for them as well. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that idea too. And so right now, what type of writing are you working on? Narrative, informational, or just in general? So right now we're working on opinion writing. Opinion writing. Okay. Um, Have you, so, so far you've done like all teacher model, right? It's not necessarily been independent yet. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes. Okay. Um, have you thought about giving almost like, um, sentence stems or like, like giving like parts of the paragraph that are filled in for them, but then they have to fill in the rest of it themselves with their own thoughts. So I have something that I've used, um, in fourth grade when I taught fourth grade and it was like, um, site stems and elaboration stems, And that kind of goes with a formula that I'm already using to teach them. So that could be something to help them for sure. Yeah. It just might be an additional scaffold for those students that are really, really struggling. Like if the checklist doesn't work, the, the formula doesn't work, you know, maybe giving like sentence stems that will physically guide their writing. Maybe, maybe that might be like a a last resort, last step type of thing that you can do for those students, like a small group that you just know needs this for now before they eventually do it completely on their own. Okay. Do we like that idea? idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, in, in addition to the formula, then we'll add a checklist. And if the checklist still is not seeming to work, then we can maybe create some sentence stem paragraphs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that idea. Okay, great. So just kind of like recapping here. So for the vocabulary, we kind of decided that you would like to start assessing weekly on them. Um, so if we're assessing weekly, that's going to be five words a week, right? Mm-hmm. That's right. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay, awesome. Um, and then you're also going to do it online. So that's going to definitely alleviate some of your um, time in grading all of these paper tests and mm-hmm. copies. Yes, I love that. <laughs> yes, we always love less copies. 
Um, and then for the writing, for more independence on writing, um, you would like to continue with your formula, which I think is a great idea. I love the formula, um, almost like a skeleton type thing of like what they need to follow. I love that. Um, and then after that, we'll use a checklist if needed and then sentence stems if needed. That sounds good. That's perfect. I love that. Okay, great. Is there anything else that you really wanted to talk about? It sounds like you're doing some great stuff in your class. I wish I could actually come visit and observe <laughs> it all. <laughs> I also am in third, so it's like I would love to be able to observe more, but. Yes, and pick each other's brains. <laughs> I know. I love Perfect. picking other third grade teachers' brains because it's so cool to see what everybody else is doing. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Um, I think that's it for today. Okay, great. Well, I've really enjoyed meeting with you and I hope that, um, you know, if we get to meet again, that we get to digest this and really see how things have worked for you. All right. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you.